Hey everyone, welcome to episode three. We're still pretty early on in our journey of converting this cargo trailer into a tiny home. In this episode, we're gonna be doing the half inch plywood on the walls and insulating the floors. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm putting up some half inch plywood on the walls. I'm just marking out where the spray foam was sort of encroaching on my plywood. So I'm just cutting it off and making it a little cleaner so that this plywood will attach on these walls a lot nicer. I'll be screwing it on with my DeWalt uh, auto feed drywall gun and we're using the Senko screws on this. So it makes for a really, really quick install. And uh, you can just see how fast I'm zipping through this. It takes no time at all. And uh, yeah, we're just screwing it onto the strips that I had on there before and piece of cake. Next up, we're gonna be insulating the floor, giving us a nice warm trailer. For now, we're just gonna get this styrofoam fit and kind of see how it looks. All right, here we go. So because the styrofoam is four feet by eight feet, the trailer is eight by 16. I can kind of put this any which way I want. I think I'm going to run the styrofoam this way because it'll limit the amount of cutting I actually have to do. I'll just have to cut the ends off as opposed to having to cut a long rip, making it nice and straight. So I'm going to start at the front and work my way back here. So I'll just double check my measurement. Now, if you find you're cutting your styrofoam a little bit off you can always spray foam the edges and then trim it off with a, a knife so you don't have to be super accurate is what i'm basically trying to say here we got this stuff's actually just under eight feet 95 and three quarters and i've got a 94 inch width and then I'm just going to use a T-square to cut this, a drywall T-square. You don't have to cut all the way through, but you can just snap it off. But you do want to cut, you know, 50%. All right, let's see how this fits. Perfect, so now what I'm gonna do is just cut around the step and I'm gonna keep it back an inch and a half because I'm gonna line the step with some two by material so I can screw sort of my plywood down through the two by into the floor, but also so I'm not exposing the edge of the styrofoam. I'm gonna do that at the back as well. I'll just put a nice finished strip there of uh, a two by four or something that I'll rip down to two inches I'm going to grab a saw, so I'm going to cut that out with a little saw, I think, and I'm going to get a longer blade because this is uh, almost done. Okay, so I got a two foot level, little saw, new blade for my knife, and we can make this thing work in this corner. I was thinking about spray foaming underneath, which would be nice to do. It would protect the trailer, but our goal for this job is to do it as cheaply as possible. And I think I spent 700 bucks just to spray foam the walls. That was the froth packet you get at Lowe's. So I'm just trying to uh, cut the cost because I think to take this in, you know, it'd be like 500 bucks to have the bottom spray foamed. I'd have to probably get it up on a lift or something because this trailer sits so low it, it would be very, very hard to get underneath it. Uh, not to say that you couldn't do it, but I'm sure if you hired professionally, that's what they would want. So I'm just gonna do this. I think it's gonna be great to cut the cold. We're gonna have a little electric fireplace in here anyhow, as well as a little gas heater buddy if we need. So I think uh, two inches of foam is, is gonna be sufficient enough. We should have about an R8 or R10 value with this including the plywood. You get a bit of an R value with plywood too. So I'm going to cut an inch and a half back. Double check. Inch 
inch and a half, looking good. So now I can put a little two by four block in here, one along the face and then across there. Then my plywood will come down, I can screw it all together and it'll be a nice finished edge. I still might take uh, some aluminum flashing, some right angle or something like, like is on this step right now, just to kind of give it a, a stronger edge. But I, I would do that after I get my flooring on. So that's something I'll probably do later. Next piece, a little bit more tricky on the cutting. Okay, so this one I've got to do a bunch of measuring, but we have the technology to do this. It's no problem. I always put an X where my waist is going to be, just so I don't get myself confused. All right, perfect. So now I can line that with my inch and a half and keep on going. So two more sheets, I think. And then this trailer will be insulated so we can get on with the plywood. And then I'll insulate, or sorry, I'll strap this wall and plywood this. And then I'll do my partition wall, frame the bed in, frame the couch, build the cabinets get our electrical going, do the ceiling, all kinds of stuff. If you're wondering what pencil I'm using, this is the Halta Force. I'm using the red lead on this. I've, I kind of carry two pencils on me. I carry a Pika, which is my actual pencil. And then yeah, I've, I've converted over to the Halta Force for my colored pencils. I just find I'm using colored so much now especially doing a lot of treated lumber. It really shows up well. Jobs like this, red really shows up well. So having two pencils on me is, is just something I've started doing lately. And uh, I really enjoy it. It's, it's keeping me organized and, and it's just uh, speeds up my job a little bit, makes things a little more accurate. Insulated. So I lost two inches in height. Overall height now is about 83 inches. So one inch under seven feet. But there we go. It's, uh, it's gonna be really warm in here. All right guys, thanks for watching. Um, next video is gonna be on sheeting this with some half inch plywood. Keep on crushing it.